Welcome to this week's Dividend Cafe. I am filming a little early this week. I'm here in New York and on Thursday I'm going to be in a conference with my partners at Strategist Research uh, all day and I just wasn't sure that I'd have time to tape it before jumping on the plane tomorrow night to come home. So I wanted to get this done today. I uh, certainly didn't want to miss this week uh, in lieu of the markets melt up today that took place. The Dow closing at over 21,000 now. Um, we were just celebrating 20,000 a, a couple weeks ago and really just amazing market response and obviously largely to President Trump's speech last night. This is the biggest day the markets that have had in 2017 and I didn't check this but I'm almost sure it's the biggest day we've had since the day after the election. And, and what was very uh, interesting about that is that both these huge market updates, the day after the election and today, came after a speech from now President Trump the night before that uh, represents kind of, I think, his most high profile public expression of a measured, uh, sober, poised, and what many have said is sort of presidential approach to addressing the American public, to addressing the policy issues of our day. And, and I know it sounds silly to suggest that market response would be interested in our president's demeanor and tone, but I really do believe that. I think that, that from a policy standpoint, there was not a ton that was new out of the speech last night. Most of what was delivered was market friendly. There was, wouldn't have been a big reason for markets to have not embraced it, but it also wasn't anything necessarily new. There wasn't a lot of specifics or substance as to how we're going to get the things done. The border adjustment tax, that is a huge issue, uh, hinging around where corporate tax reform may go. Um, it, 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 he didn't embrace it and he didn't uh, reject it. He, he flirted with it a little, but overall, the market seems to be saying, we don't know exactly how it's going to get done, whether this border tax will be there or not, and if it isn't, how they're gonna satisfy the congressional opposition. But the market seems to be saying, we don't care. That one way or the other, we believe it's gonna get done. And, and my, I suspect that that's probably an accurate assessment. Um, I do believe that overall, there are uh, clear indicators of a rising business investment sentiment, a rising consumer sentiment, that uh, these quote unquote animal spirits seem to be provoked and that there is a great deal of belief that some of these infrastructure things are gonna happen. Interesting about President Trump's speech last night, he talked about a trillion dollars, but he actually nuanced his words and said a trillion dollars worth, meaning that the value may be there, but he didn't say the cost would be a, mil a trillion. And he also said that it would be a public-private partnership and spoke a lot about energy projects and those being stimulated through deregulation. And this was a big takeaway to me, and I know I'm in the weeds a little here, but it's important. It, it, it is stimulative to deregulate some of the projects that need to take place in our energy infrastructure, and it doesn't cost the government a dime. It doesn't cost the taxpayers, it doesn't add to the deficit. So you get energy spending, so energy investment, all from the private sector and without a deficit impact through that thinking. I'm sure there's going to be other government spending involved as well, but my point is markets seem to like what they heard. And, and in particular, I, I found that very uh, investable and very applicable to a lot of what we're doing. February was a tremendous month, and then now March 1st has kicked off uh, with this kind of response. We'll see how Thursday and Friday go if you happen to be listening to this. And uh, markets already had some big response the other way Thursday, Friday, now you know. Um, but listen, the, the uh, important thing right now is to be focused on asset allocation, to avoid an irrational fear that will lose you money and miss an opportunity you will not necessarily ever have the chance to get back as so many people have put themselves through over the last four months, year, going further back than that. Uh, um, also to be euphoric and to start take, pouring money out of a well-designed asset allocation from the asset classes that are underperforming right now because equities are doing so well. It is important to stay within the balance and target allocation that's appropriate to your situation. And, and we believe that um, this is going to prove to be a period where one's discipline gets richly rewarded. I need to leave it there. 
very interesting. The dollar is flat on the year. The 10-year treasury yield is flat on the year. It was up today, it had been down before, but it's right where it started the year at right now. The 10-year treasury bond about 2.4%. So you have an equity market that is dramatically higher in, in just eight weeks, and the bonds and the bond market and dollar are not behind that. They moved around along the way, but this is something very interesting that we see taking place in capital markets. We're here to watch it and monitor it for you to answer your questions. We're going to see you next week. I'll have a lot to report from this conference tomorrow with out of my colleagues from Strategist. Uh, thanks for listening to Divinity Capital.